afternoon from the floor of the CME. This is Chris Robinson with your Traders exclusive comment for today, Wednesday, the 10th of January. Uh, got to cut to the chase real quick. In two days, we've probably got the biggest USDA report that we'll get for the next three or four months. It's the final supply and demand. It's called the WASD report, World uh, Average Supply and Demand. So we'll uh, be focusing on that exclusively. Uh, the setup, it's going into this thing, it's a very expensive game of chicken. Uh, what do I mean by that? Well, you've got the managed money with the, the speculative funds. They're record short. They've, they're short 200,000 corn, 180,000 wheat, about 80,000 uh, soybean contracts. So they've, they are betting on lower prices. The American farmer is massively long. The, I, I talked to clients uh, in, in my book of business where, you know, some of them have all of uh, 17 crop and part of 16 crop. So they're sitting on two years worth of corn. That's going to be the big what if. If you can tell me what the weather's going to be and by uh, June or July, then I'll let you know whether or not we're going to finally get a rally and break out of this uh, uh, trading range we've been stuck in for so long. So the setup is there. You've got the a massive uh, short position going against the, the uh, farmer who's all long. We're going to see how it plays out here. Um, and I think that Friday at 11 o'clock, you know, there's some good opportunity there. You can do some very low, low, uh, low risk, high reward trades to try and catch any sort of a pop on that uh, report when it comes out. Historically, and if you go back and look six, seven, eight, nine, ten years, we this is a report that produces limit moves. In other words, where the market either pegs it goes as high as it can go and stops, or as low as it can go and stops. The market goes limit one way or the other. So there's a good opportunity. Nobody can guarantee if that's going to come. And if I knew that, I certainly wouldn't be sitting here. But it's it's opportunity. And I would say um, there's you know there's a, about 10 reports all year long. This one's probably the biggest one, then followed by the one in March. So it's given you a great opportunity. Again, you 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 can't ask for anything more than that. So really good opportunity coming up this Friday in the grains. The setup is there. Um, looking at the outside markets, continue to watch and see. Um, everybody talks about $64 in the crude oil. Crude oil I'm going to talk about because it actually affects uh, every commodity out here, especially in the U.S. It affects the price of gasoline, which then affects the input prices for farmers and producers. So it really runs throughout the economy. If you look at the 2014 highs and the 2016 lows, crude oil dropped 52 bucks from 90 to 38. The big reason people were focused at $64 is because it's halfway back. So if we can get crude oil above $64, that might get more money coming into the long side in crude oil. That would also affect, I think, input prices for farmers and producers. So watch that 64 level in uh, crude oil. But if you wonder why everybody's talking about it, it's very simple. It's just a 50% trade uh, halfway back point of the big sell-off that we had already starting back in, uh, again, 2014. So that's about it. Get ready for Friday. Uh, uh, if you have any questions or want to call me, you can look me up on the web. Chris Robinson, have a great day.